there's been all this controversy regarding the Seth Rogen movie, The Interview, um, and a lot of people have sat down and talked about free speech and freedom of expression, and there. Were, and after the movie was pulled from theaters, we saw online venues like YouTube come in and say that they were going to present the movie as a way of showing freedom of speech and freedom of expression. But what I find in contradiction um, here, everybody's talking about freedom of speech and freedom of expression, is the contradiction that, you know, when black men present videos on YouTube, there is, they're not allowed to have freedom of speech and freedom of expression. If they make certain videos about certain subjects such as black women or even present their opinions about certain subjects their videos are presented are flagged deleted or even their channels are deleted and to say that you want to have freedom of speech and freedom of expression for Seth Rogen but you don't allow black men to have the same freedom of speech and freedom of expression on a platform and that sounds that looks pretty hypocritical to me when it comes to YouTube I mean you can have a white man mock the leader of a country in a movie but when a black man wants to speak his mind on the same forum and post it on the same site he's not allowed to do that and that really is hypocritical if when you think about it because I've seen dozens of black men have their channels over the last four or five years they've had their videos flagged they've had their videos taken down I have ran into that myself with one video I made um, and I've seen dozens of black men have their videos and their channels deleted and they've had all their hard work taken away from them but yet this same YouTube run by Google will go out and allow Sony Pictures and Seth Rogen to put up a movie talking about free speech. Why is it that the black men can't have the same free speech uh, at all? And that's a question we really need to ask because black men have been using the internet to get their word out and get their opinions expressed and make their points. They've been expressing their freedom of speech and they've had a right to freedom, the right to express their freedom of speech. And what I've seen is all throughout the YouTube um, stratosphere, because I watch a lot of different videos. Um, I've watched atheists put up their views. I've watched um, racists put up their views, like Klansmen. I've watched feminists put up their views. But when a black man presents his opinions and his viewpoints on YouTube, he is censored and that's not right I mean for all this talk about freedom of speech no one wants to give black men the same right to free speech and free expression that everyone else is allowed to have under the under our Constitution now as a publisher I believe in the First Amendment and I believe everyone has a right to express themselves if you don't like their content what you do is you click out of it or you move on to another site. I mean, I have said this numerous times on my own blog regarding subjects people found so-called offensive. And my point is that black men should have the right to express themselves and present their points on online. And they should be able to be allowed to make their videos without censorship. And this is not this has this is still a problem going on and then what's crazy about it is for all this speechifying from people like Barack Obama and George Clooney in Hollywood and about free speech there is no free speech for black men on YouTube it's literally like a fascist state if you make certain statements there will there are repercussions for it um, and if you make videos about things like black women or you make commentary about certain black issues in the black community that people don't agree with there is an effort to silence and censor you um, some youtubers are forced to do private videos 
or literally leave the site to do to make people pay for videos because they can't they're not allowed to make their statements on this form but yet here we have a 40 million dollar movie which was hacked by Sony picture which was hacked by the North Koreans supposedly um, on here talking about free speech I find that to be extremely hypocritical and contradictory for all of these um, video upload sites to put up the interview but then say black men are not allowed to make their statements and make their videos I mean really we really need to check ourselves on as, as, as American people because we can't say one thing and do another that's that's hypocritical that is the that is the definition of hypocrisy right there when you say this guy can have Seth Rogen can have the right to run the interview online but the black men who have been on YouTube for the last four or five years trying to present their side of the story that has not been presented in American media for the last 30 years or the last 40 years um, can't present their side of the story it, it, it shows some serious cognitive distortion here I mean if you want to wave the flag you have to wave the flag for everyone if you want to apply the First Amendment the First Amendment needs to apply to everyone I mean black men gained these same constitutional rights under the 13th Amendment of the Constitution after the Civil War but yet they're not allowed to express themselves freely unless it meets certain criteria I mean this is what I've seen and it it, it, it bothers me because if, you, if we're living in a free country you should be able to express yourself freely and I mean if Seth Rogen can make a movie about you know Kim Jong-un and trying to kill him and it can be played on YouTube and iTunes um, and other um, broadcast sites but a black man making a statement about certain issues in his own community and making commentary about statements in his own community can't is censored then we have a double standard here and that double standard needs to be addressed in a constructive manner and I, I look at all the channels that were deleted over the last four or five years um, because I really listen like listening to a lot of these guys um, they really helped me when I lost my job a couple years ago I mean I remember Dan Freeman's the threatening black man that video really really helped me out a lot um, and helped me deal with a lot of stuff when I was out of, when um, I lost my job and I felt really down that, that video helped me out a lot and there were other videos out here that still continue to help me like the Iceman's videos his videos are really helpful um, David Carroll's videos are really helpful Mr. Superboy's videos pretty helpful and these these are good these these are good videos and people don't understand that black men out here are just trying to express themselves they're trying to put their view out there we haven't heard from black men in 30 years we've heard from everybody else talking about black issues but we've not heard from black men and we really need to hear from black men and and I'm not talking about these sugar-coated cartoon characters like Steve Harvey or Tyler Perry I'm talking about working class regular guys like myself and the men I have mentioned we don't hear from those guys and we really do need to hear our viewpoints and we really need to get them out there and if we in order to do that we have to ha be able to have the same freedom of speech that someone like Seth Rogen is allowed to have and you know Barack Obama making all this hoopla talking about freedom of speech but has he ever been to YouTube has he ever seen what has been going on with black men in social media and how there's literally an effort to censor them every time they try to speak how whenever intelligent black men like myself try to have a forum like a blog there's always an effort by people to try to silence um, the viewpoints or to try to flood the board for the comment section I mean it's just there's a serious effort to censor black men whenever they try to speak and I feel I mean I've spoken about this that was my first video that I came on here with one of my first videos I came on talking about this issue 
And I just look at the whole interview situation and I see the same, this like nothing has changed. I mean, here you are, you're going to put this movie up with the, with um, Sony Pictures talking about free speech. But every time a black person speaks out, there's an effort to shut down their forums and take take everything that they put up, their viewpoints, down. I mean, I thought there was freedom of speech. I mean, if the Ku Klux Klan can have their channels and atheists can have their channels, why can't black men? And this is something I want, I really wish more black men would start talking about because for all this talk of free speech, I really don't see it on YouTube. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.